Hello, welcome to the cryptocurrency news channel. Bitcoin is past 10,000 again. Now, a lot of some of you on Twitter are like, oh, but my investment isn't going up anymore. Like, especially for like you know, VeChain or Cardano or T, uh, not Tezos or Chainlink. And the thing is, like, you guys are getting like just a little too greedy because you have to remember, like, VeChain just pumped like 200% just prior. Cardano did pretty much the same thing. Well, like 150%. And then Chainlink's been uh, all of a sudden pumped, nearly doubled its price. So whenever coins pump like that, there's always going to be a cooling off period. And for larger coins within the top 20, they're not going to pump 20, 30x all of a sudden because it just takes too much money to do that, especially if they're legitimate projects and they're not pumping the projects themselves. So that's just not going to happen. The thing is, like right now, I see some of the top coins bleeding back into Bitcoin um, because there's they probably... A lot of them like VeChain, Cardano, Link, they went up by a whole, whole lot. And some of that money, people want probably want to take a little bit of profit. So they're down like 10% or so. And they probably put that maybe into Bitcoin or Ethereum for the time being. My guess is that if Bitcoin holds this price, that will actually eventually affect those coins too. So in a couple of days, if Bitcoin's still above 10K, I expect those coins to rise again, at least to their the price that they were, which is only about like, you know, 10% greater than what they are now, or possibly go above that. So right now, if you're in those um, smaller coins, and you want them to actually, uh, you know, like improve in price, you really want Bitcoin to maintain the price, because if Bitcoin doesn't maintain the price, and it goes back down, those smaller coins will go back down as well. And the thing is, like, no, you can't actually always expect your coins to pump forever. Just because Bitcoin pumps doesn't necessarily mean that your coin will pump. It's, that is especially true if you if your coin has been hyper pumping within the last month or two, because sometimes um, the reason Bitcoin goes up is because those uh, smaller coins have hyper pumped, and now those people want to take a bit of profit and they don't want to put it in a stable coin or USD, so they retreat back into BTC, possibly ETH. Those are generally the two coins, the two main coins. Um, depending on like people's risk factor, the people that are a little bit higher in risk factor maybe will sell them into ETH. Uh, the people with lower risk factor might sell them into BTC. And plus, some of that money is going into ETH right now because of the projected like August testnet for ETH 2.0. But Ethereum being number two right now has limited pump potential just on the testnet. If Bitcoin goes crazy and goes to 20K, obviously Ethereum will pump. But if Bitcoin doesn't, Ethereum does have that potential maybe to reach like 370 maybe even $400. But it's not going to go like, uh, you know, like 5 or 10x. Um, without Bitcoin or the whole market going on a bull run. So the thing is, like, it's not really that time to worry about your alts right now. Uh, but Bitcoin is essentially uh, Bitcoin is essentially going up. Some of the altcoins profit is bleeding back into Bitcoin. But if Bitcoin maintains this level or goes even higher, in a few days, we'll see that affect the rest of the market. And I do believe the rest of the market will go up. I do believe Cardano will be above 15 cents. VeChain will probably climb above two if Bitcoin maintains this level because more money is going to actually come into the market and that will actually start satisfying everyone. On the other hand, if you want the altcoins to get cheaper, you just want Bitcoin to crash. And that could actually happen too because the, the CARES Act and the PPP loans have expired. As far as I know, Congress has not extended it. They're still bickering about random stuff. I really don't know what they're bickering about. And the thing is, I think um, they do want to push... The, the the stimulus like closer to the election so he gets a bigger boost uh so trump gets a bigger boost closer to the election i don't really know of how well that's going to play out for him but realistically i don't think it's a good idea to delay because people are just gonna get pissed off but the thing is since cares and ppp has run out some people might get a little desperate and start liquidating assets so we could see a bit of a drop um, if we do actually see a drop or a giant flash crash in the stock market, I do think Bitcoin will follow, but Bitcoin will actually recover much faster than the stock market. And that flash crash probably won't last more than like a couple minutes or a couple hours. So you'll want to have your buy orders set. But anyways, that's why your altcoins aren't pumping, even though Bitcoin is pumping right now, especially if you own one of the altcoins that, have, that has hyper pumped lately, like Cardano, VET, or Chainlink. But don't worry, they'll actually catch back up because... Um, they're only down slightly right now, and that money's either bleeding into ETH or BTC, depending on people's risk factor. And um, it won't stay there forever. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you, and have a nice day.